comes to being a cop, fashion isn't always top of mind, right? But that doesn't mean that some of them don't know that sometimes good clothes can change a bad day. And a Beaverton police officer is spreading that confidence one outfit at a time, making her my next Women Crush Wednesday. Michelle Wilson loves being a dog mom and a Beaverton cop for the last 10 years. It's not just a place that you get lost or a number, you actually get to know who you're working with and that's what makes coming to work every day so much fun. Despite her daily blue uniform, Michelle does know how to have fun with fashion. I love wearing dresses or skirts and bright colors and fun things like that. It really makes me feel good. Michelle and her colleagues want others to feel the same way and five years ago started collecting donations in Michelle's basement that grew to fill a garage and then the bulk of a backyard. And then it got to the point where we were got really excited about this and we thought, you know, we can make our own clothing closet for people to come in. And so we actually partnered with the police department since we all work here and actually have been able to host our party at the police department um, for the first time in 2019. Now called the ladies in blue closet, the clothes will take up most of this conference room. I think everyone should have that opportunity to have just a really an outfit that just makes them feel super confident and excited and feel good about themselves. The donations are often brand new and a boon to local charities that Michelle gives them to, which in turn helps the police department build a better relationship with Beaverton. Um, want to go out and help our community members and I feel like this is just another way that we can really um, impact the women of our community and like I said, give them that great outfit on maybe a bad day. Yeah. So it's Michelle and those two other cops uh, who are doing this event. Now they only collect donations amongst their family and their friends between June and September. Then the closet will open in the fall to low income students, veterans, the homeless, among others. And we put a full list of the organizations throughout our community that they consider donating to at coin.com. They do need clothing racks. If you have any of those lying around or that is something that you could maybe donate, I know they would appreciate that. We put all of their information at coin.com if you're interested. And while you're there, you can also let me know who you think should be my next Women Crush Wednesday. Yeah, more inspiring people doing great things. Great story.